Get your hands in the air! Take off your parachute. Hand it over. If you insist. In 2010, Eurocom announced to the world that they were making a reboot of the Nintendo 64 Rare Classic of GoldenEye, but exclusively for the Nintendo Wii. Soon after the debut, due to its major popularity, fans wanted the game to be ported to the PS3 and Xbox 360, and in time, the game was ported as we wished. GoldenEye Reloaded was dubbed as the title, and as for me, Xbox Live blew up with this game in the midst, taking the story of GoldenEye movie in the 90s, but with Daniel Craig taking over as leading man, and with some minor changes in the pacing in the story and in characters, it becomes a soft retelling with some new faces and cool remixes. So after 4 years of playing this title, is GoldenEye still the best damn Bond game of last generation? Well let's take a look in this week's Game Factor. It's game time! Hey James. For England? For England, Alec. Always for England. Excellent gameplay controls. 
Great controls and gameplay mechanics makes James Bond feel smooth yet brutal. Both stealth and assault gameplay feel like two totally different experiences. Guns show knockback power and feel powerful as well. And takedowns run smoothly even if you're crouching in silence or in mid combat. Hitting target to target in this game is amazing and game flow works well in near perfect accuracy. Who's the traitor in your government? What do you know about the Janus group? Why did you set off the Golden Eye? Stop it! Both of you! Gameplay you variety and full content. Golden Eye Reloaded has a bunch of game modes, starting with single player campaign, by playing the retold story of the original Golden Eye, and my six ops, a bunch of operations and missions with different tactics and objectives. Earn more stars by increasing the difficulty and other stats. You can make enemies more aggressive and more accurate in shooting to make one hell of an experience for oneself. And finally, multiplayer, both 4 player split screen and online action. The variety and content of this title is amazingly stocked and will keep you busy hours on end. Speaking of multiplayer, the strength of this title comes from the online and split screen battles. From team conflicts to paintball matches, GoldenEye has it all and plays it well. Also, you can play as old James Bond villains from the past movies, with their own stats and advantages. I only wish that they had more crazy weapons like super lasers or crazy gadgets to spice things up a bit, but overall, strong multiplayer. Good job. Are you going to kill me? No. Alec, we're clear. Now in GoldenEye, there's only one negative in the whole entire game, and that is using your cell phone to hack into consoles. Phone hacking is worse than its predecessor. When you hold up your phone to hack consoles, it becomes a hassle because it leaves you a sitting duck and you take upon fire when you're in firefights and it takes up the whole screen. In my opinion, next time they create a hacking system, they should have changed it to pointing your reticle towards the console and have the phone in your hand at the same time, then prompt you to hack it like in GoldenEye Rogue Agent. That would have been a little bit better. This man is a spy who killed Minister Mishkin with his own gun. Move! Good luck, Mr. Bond. Here are some pro tips to help you out in GoldenEye Reloaded. Number one, use cover tactics. Now, when you're crouching, you can use the left trigger to peek over ledges, tables, and other walls to attack your enemies. When you let go of the left trigger, you go back into cover. This peekaboo situation and cover tactic is a great innovative way to do a FPS cover tactics without committing to a context action. This is just as good or even better than Crisis 2 cover mechanic. Number two, snap aiming. Snap aiming can be helpful in a jam, especially when you have a shotgun or a grenade launcher. When you snap aim, you can also use the left trigger to snap and lock onto an enemy thanks to the aim assist. This will help you focus on the enemy, take him down, and before you're crowded, you have most of your enemies are down for the count. Number three, have a good mix of long and short range guns. For me, I always like to use shotguns and assault rifles, close and long range. And, when you get into those firefights, they help a lot. Try to use some with no scopes when you're dealing with short range. A scope is necessary when you're using long range, but not, you know, all the time. There won't be a, a really long distance mission unless you're doing the first or the snow mission in advance. You can always use sniper rifles for those and try to find ones with the silencer on it. They help with the stealth tactics. With guns, puns, and sarcastic puns, 007 is stronger than ever, even with Daniel Craig taking the helm. Multiplayer is funner than ever, and there's tons and tons of content, and very good gameplay. And that makes the GoldenEye reboot a very worthy investment. For gameplay, I reward GoldenEye Reloaded with a solid A. Good tight controls and gameplay, smart enemies, great game flow, and powerful and intense firefights to keep you busy. Replay value is rated a high with special ops, a long campaign, and massive multiplayers with paintball, team conflicts, and even playing as villains, GoldenEye will keep you busy with friends 
or by yourself. And the Consumer Report. Right now you can buy this around low or uh, mid price. I'm going to put it at mid around $29.99 and get it used. It's a worthy investment like I said before. And finally, I give GoldenEye Reloaded the Instant Classic Badge because this reboot was worth coming out for the new generation. Alright guys, this is my last review for Super Spy September. I know it came in a little late, I had a delay and some things to do, but I will be doing full rundown reviews in November. I'm going to take a month off. I'm going to do some quick run reviews, about four, uh, two to four minute videos on the newest games and my first impressions and a quick review on them. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Rundown Review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't worry, more reviews and content are coming up soon. Here are the current consoles I can review at the moment. Comment below for a pick at the next review game. And again, thanks for watching. Cafe Olay, baby. Peace and love. I'm out. Hold your combos, let the chain Call me, he makes more to the ball in the game